Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Beyond the Ring with Nonito and Rachel. Man, today is February 1st, and we have some disappointing news from the WBC. But first, check this Ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nonito Donaitis. Woke up this morning with a bunch of texts and a bunch of phone calls about the WBC mandate for my next fight. Now, before we get there, let's recap what was going on. Back in Acapulco, Mexico, for the WBC convention in November, we were going back and forth between me and T. Maloney. You know, I was number two and he was number one. And they were trying to get the belt without fighting it. And we fought for it, me, Richard, and my manager, Rachel. Um, so, you know, again, we came to shake hands. We came to understand that this was, this was the fight that we wanted to have. We had a gentleman's agreement, again, shook hand, you know, had a little face off in front of everybody. And we were pretty much sure that this fight was going to be the fight coming for this year. Come December, there was fake news coming from his side about we have already started negotiation and so i had to debunk this so i reached out to jason maloney himself to figure out what was going on and he believed that this negotiation was happening so come january he knew it vacates the titles and the wbc mandates and orders that both camps starts negotiation for the fight so rumors were circulating before that that i was going to go down to 115 and and that i was going to fight for the 115 titles and and get the fifth division i was keeping myself and my option open because we didn't really know when inua was going to vacate and we weren't going to wait for anything to uh you know, we wanted to to reach out and, and see what options were there. And so I wanted to make sure when Inouye vacated that I was not relinquishing my position. So after I made that statement, I was hearing rumors around that top rank were taking the, was taking the, uh, the WBO route. To me, that was disappointing to hear. And at the same time, they weren't reaching out to us. There was no no words from them. But deep within me as a fighter, I was still hopeful that this fight was going to go through. We wanted to be patient because Top Rank was dealing with the better be a yard fight. But we're hearing rumors that Top Rank has reached out to the WBC to relinquish Jason Maloney's position to fight me for the title. So this morning... Jake Donovan from Boxing Scene dropped a bomb. And I quote, okay, what am I looking at? So this morning, Boxing <clears throat> Jake Donovan, right? So this morning, Jake Donovan of Boxing Scene dropped the bomb. And I quote, the WBC has received confirmation from top rank that Maloney will not be fighting for the WBC Bantamweight title. WBC President Mauricio Soliman confirmed to the team for both boxers via official letter, a copy of which has obtained by BoxingScene.com. With this letter, the process of Maloney versus Donaire is hereby canceled. We wish Maloney the best of luck and the WBC will be announcing future steps towards the fight for such vacant title. Jake Donovan also got a quote from my promoter, Richard Schaefer, and he said, quote, The good news is that Nonito Donaire is a warrior who is willing to face anyone. Our stance was always the same. Nonito Donaire was going to challenge for the WBC Bantamweight title. We went to the WBC convention to declare our position, which has not changed. 
I wish I could say that I was surprised, but I'm not. First of all, I want to say thank you to the WBC and Richard for, um, for this opportunity. And I trust Richard will find the right path for me. So for me, it's very disappointing for me because I do want to, to fight the best out there. And I always want to fight anybody. But, you know, unfortunately, it doesn't work for everybody else. Um, so for me, I'm looking forward to whoever that, that guy will be fighting for the title with me. Um, but I'll be ready. I'll be ready. So stay tuned. We'll let you guys know for more information to who I'll be fighting. But I'll definitely be fighting for the WBC. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm Jarrell. And I am Logan. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe the video. And hit the bell. Ding, ding, ding. KO! Jinx, got ya. Manito the name.